Gentlemen, you're about to be working, or you're already working, for Donald Trump. Is that ethical? This video is brought to you by ForkFest.party. It's gonna be a party. Gentlemen, you're about to work a job who's, maybe you're already working one, whose salary I'm paying against my will. How is that right? What do you have to say to taxpayers that don't want to pay your salary? They think you're killing eight civilians per terrorist with your drone program. And know it because it's the government's own number. Gentlemen, if ordered to, would you fire on other Americans in America? Is there any other order you wouldn't follow? Would you bomb civilians, if ordered to, overseas? Gentlemen, you're about to be working, or you're already working, for Donald Trump. Is that ethical? <laughs> Gentlemen, is there any order you would refuse to follow if given? Is there any order you would refuse to follow? <laughs> Not gonna get that chance in the field, bro. <laughs> Okay. Beg your pardon? I think they're going to get started here in a minute. Okay. I will film part of the ceremony. Huh? I will film part of the ceremony. Good. How are you? Guys, there are independence rumblings in California and New Hampshire. If you were ordered to fire on Americans to prevent secession, would you do it? Folks, as you know, there are independence rumblings in California and New Hampshire. If you were ordered to fire on Americans to prevent secession, would you do it? I don't think I'm allowed to have an opinion on that. But would you do it? I have another question for you, unrelated. Sure. Uh, I was driving down I-25, okay, yeah, I was driving down I-25 a while back, and I noticed a military presence on, on the interstate. It, they were just, I think they were observing police, watching a wreck, and so forth. But do, do your police do anything ever on I-25 to get people arrested? No. If on occasion there may be an accident, some kind of disaster, and through an agreement with the local law enforcement, our, uh, our security forces will facilitate the sticking to the agreement that they have with the uh, local law enforcement agencies. Same thing for fire. You know, there's a fire, uh, for example, uh, if there's a fire in our base, if there's a fire off base, then our fire department will assist to a mutual, uh, what do they call it? I call it MOU, but it's basically a uh, local communities to assist in those areas. But as far as arresting people, no. So, but it, does, does I-25 go partly through Academy territory? It goes past Academy territory. I don't believe there's any part on the other side of the base, on the other side of Highway 35 that belongs to the Air Force Academy. Could be wrong about that. Okay. Might be a little strip of somewhere along the line. So, so civilians are completely safe from the military while they're traversing I-25, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Unless, of course, we're there to rescue and to assist. The power to rescue is the power to destroy. 
That's not our purpose. But we're usually called out by the local law enforcement. Yeah. Well, and I have witnessed you helping. Okay, fair enough. All right. Thanks. That's what you'll be doing to yourself if you forget, if you, if you forget to attend Fork Fest. What is Fork Fest? Well, it's a little bit like Pork Fest. It's also in New Hampshire at Rogers Campground. But you don't have to wait for it to start to participate. Go by their website, check out the forum and the chat room. Get involved in planning it. Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.